Hello, this is Joey. I'm with J&G Electric and I'm the master electrician of the company. Today we are going to show you how a homeowner can change a duplex receptacle. So a couple of things that you're going to need. Um, you're going to definitely need at least a plug tester. Okay, This is going to allow you to plug into the outlet, see that there's power on, that it's working properly before you get started to make sure that you don't have any issues that you don't know about before you get started. So it's very important to turn the electrical power off. I don't because I've been doing it for a long time and that's just the way that I do it, but that is not the proper way of doing it. You definitely want to have the power off. Now there's a couple of things that you need to know about with a duplex receptacle. There are two terminals. One is the power side with the 120 volts. The other side is the neutral side, which returns the current back to the electrical panel and makes everything work for you. So you have, you're going to most likely have a black wire, a white wire, possibly a bare copper wire and or a green wire in the box. Most boxes are going to have a total of two white, two black, two ground. That's typical what you're going to find. And that's exactly what you have here. Now I'm not actually going to remove the wiring from this device, but I'm going to give you an idea of what is behind that plate in your home. So Cindy's going to zoom in a little bit so you can see how you check with a actual voltage tester. The red prong is going to be for the power. The black prong is for your neutral. You can see that this is a white cable. This is a black cable. You put it on that terminal there, terminal there, and you have 122 volts. Your voltage can vary in your home from about 118 up to about 123 is the maximum voltage you should have in your home. If you have over 123 volts, you should call your power company because that's a little too much power coming in. As you can see, this is a silver screw. So on the silver screw side of the outlet, you also have the ground, the green terminal, okay? If you can see, the wire goes around clockwise, clockwise to the right. The clock goes around to the right, the sweeping hand. That's the way that you have to put the outlet and the wiring together on this outlet. You have to make a bend with your wire so it's three quarters of the way around that screw. As you're tightening with a screwdriver, you're turning the screwdriver to the right, which is clockwise, and that is also tightening the wire and the screw to make a good connection. You do the exact same on the black side. Hopefully this was informative for you. Um, not everybody wants to do D DUI or DYI, uh, do-it-yourself type things at your home. But just in case, if you want to know just a little bit more, hopefully this has helped. If you like what you see, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Have a great day. Until the next time.